All right, it's Saturday up at the tiny house, and I had a few plans of videos I was gonna shoot, but it's just so nice out that I decided to take a different route. Um, been messing around on land all day, working the road. We put in some new road this year, so we're working on dragging that, and doing some land enhancements, and I decided I wanted to take on this this old cast iron skillet today. So it's rusted, totally shot. Picked it up at an antique shop um, last weekend for nine bucks. Um, last time I got a cast iron pan that was this bad, I turned it into one of my best pans. So let's see if we can uh, turn this thing into something that we can use again. Hope you enjoy the video. So you can see, I don't know if this will focus in very well, but the uh, surfaces, like glass, we've got most of the most of the disgusting rust off of it. Then we will wipe this down in vinegar to hopefully eat the rest of the pan away, let that sit on that overnight. And then that vinegar will hopefully get into the pores of the pan and promote pulling the rest of that rust out. So once we get the rest of that rust out, we can season the pan in the morning and uh, the surface of this pan is absolutely glass this thing should be dynamite when we're done with it so rescued cast iron pan so here's the pan that we cleaned up we got most of the rust out of it we're just going to do a wipe down with vinegar let it sit and lift whatever impurities are still left in it and then we're going to put a season on it. And it's starting to come extremely clean and what we have is a really nice surface underneath. That wire brush seems a little aggressive, but it may be. The fact of the matter is the pan was totally shot. It was a total loss until we got that rust off of it. So we did what we needed to do to get the rust off of here. Alright, so we're just going to let this one soak in the vinegar a little bit, see if we can lift any more of the rust off before we try to put a season into it. Right now it's pretty clean. It's uh, just below like a stainless steel looking pan. We're ready to put a season back in for this one. This surface, I don't know if you can see it, but this surface turned out spotless. It's just clean, smooth like glass. It's ready to go. So, lint free rag, a little bit of oil, oven's heating up, low temperature, we'll go longer time, probably we'll do it for an hour, give it an hour, hour and a half, and then we'll check it. Light coat of oil on the hole inside of the pan. I try to take my time with it and make sure it's nice and even don't really want to miss any part of it. 
you really, I do the edges too because you don't even get food up there. So I just nice thin coat on the whole pan. And this is ready to go. We're going to go in the oven upside down. It seems to be the best way to get heat on it. And let's see how it comes out. All right, I got things cleaned up. The, the um, skillet's been cleaning. The Dutch oven's gonna, I gotta take more of the surface off. It's pretty rough. This one I might even end up grinding because I think the skillet itself has probably got a heck of a lot of texture to it. So I may just take it all the way down. So we'll see, I'll make that decision tomorrow. But the, the little 10 and a half inch skillet is done, it's finished should be all seasoned. We got a good wiping of oil on it. We're gonna take it out and see what we got. So, there it is. Perfectly seasoned, super hot ready to go cast iron pan. That's got as good a finish as I've ever put on a pan. You can't see any of the marks that we used on the wire brushing. It's completely clean. Nine dollars and that's a huge savings. That pan will do wonders. Maybe we'll try to cook with it tomorrow.